Hello, I'm Mike Wiley, a safety officer in the San Antonio District. And I'm Jordan Cockerham, a systems analyst in the Office of IT Customer Relations. Welcome to TN Minute, where TechSot employees bring you the latest agency updates. TechSot has many big projects underway that will help us provide safe, effective, and efficient movement of goods and people. Among our largest projects, seven are in the DFW area, including I-35 East, the Horseshoe, the LBJ Expressway and SH-183 in the Dallas District, the North Tarrant Express in the Fort Worth District, and the DFW Connector. In the Houston District, we're working on the US-290 program, SH-288, and the Grand Parkway. Other projects include the I-35 expansion in the Waco District, and statewide efforts with the Ports to Plains Trade Corridor in I-69 Texas. We'll continue to keep you informed of the progress of these big projects. In late June, Congress passed the long-awaited $105 billion transportation bill, and President Obama signed the two-year bill into law. It provides road and transit funding through September 2014, and it gives states more flexibility to spend federal highway aid. It is the first highway bill approved by Congress since 2005. Increasing demand for energy resources and new exploration techniques have caused a surge in energy industry activities in Texas. This spring, TechSat formed a task force to study the impact of these activities on our state's roads. The group of leaders met earlier this month in Cleburne to discuss the costs of repair and maintenance of affected roads. Following the meeting, an open house gave the public an opportunity to ask questions and provide input on the matter. The next meeting and open house for the task force on Texas's energy sector roadway needs is expected to take place in the Midland Odessa area in August. For more information, please visit www.roadsfortexasenergy.com. TechSat recently announced funding to advance I-69 in Texas, which is planned to run from South Texas to Texarkana. A total of $17 million has been allocated to develop US-59 relief options at Lufkin, Nacogdoches, and Corrigan. Another $12 million will fund improvements to frontage roads and ramps on US-59 in Victoria. Liberty, Fort Bend, and Wharton counties will also receive funding. I-69 Texas will bring growth to these areas and provide a significantly safer travel system for our state. That's all for this episode of TN Minute. Thanks for watching. Please join us next time on TN Minute, where two new guest hosts will keep you up to date on the latest news from TechSot.